Hello, seventh graders. It is Monday, February 8th, and we're going till Friday, February 12th. I just wanted to give you a heads up that on Monday, February 15th, we have a day off. You have can certainly work at your own pace if you like, but um, you can take the day as a day if you'd like to. Um, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. Uh, this week, you're going to watch this video. This video will in contain directions on how to do the lab. I will ask you if you come and say, how do I do this lab? I will ask you, did you watch the video? And I will make sure that you watch the video before um, I, uh, you know, help you because I'm spending time making this video to show you how to do the lab. Okay. Not that I don't want to talk to you, but that I, I'm using this time wisely. Okay. Um, you're going to read 4.04 .04, human impact on earth, and then you're going to complete the lab activity. Just so that you're aware, if you click on this link here, um, this is that lab activity. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Um, is it copying? Oh, oh, there it is. And go ahead and make a copy of it. And we will go over it in just a moment. Okay. So if you were to come down to human impact on earth, well, we're going to talk about what are we as humans doing to our earth um, for good and for bad, right? So um, it's a great conversation and a good, a good time to talk about this, okay? So, you know, what is our impact and how is it going to, how did our earth look 100 years ago? How is our earth going to look in the future? Renewable versus non-renewable, that is the question. Which resources are renewable and which ones are non-renewable? You may have heard of this stuff before, but renewable resources are, are resources that we can use over and over again, like solar, geothermal, biomass, um, solar, wind, um, hydroelectric. Um, there's lots of different ones, okay? Um, and then you have your fossil fuels, which are non-renewable, and that is where you're taking um, oil from the ground, um, coal from the ground, and that is non-renewable because you can't just make up new dinosaurs crushed in pressure and aged for many, many years. You just, you, you can't do that. It's not something that we can do. Whereas the renewable energies, we don't make the wind. The wind is there and we just use it over and over again. Okay. So that's kind of that, that, uh, difference. Um, you may have seen the sign before, obviously it's recycling. And what does that mean? Reuse, reduce, and all that jazz. Okay. Let's see here. Um, how do humans impact the earth? Well, obviously we live here, so we are doing things to the earth knowingly or unknowingly. We have deforestation. This is tearing down forests. Okay. It happens. It happens here in Wisconsin, but in great numbers, it's happening other places in the world. You have desertification and that is the process of causing fertile land to become desert like that means using the land so much that it is um the nutrients are taken away from it um that's awful um and then urbanization where we are um taking away all the vegetation and 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 just, you know, building, building up, up and up and, and more and more people moving to um, closer quarters to each other and getting rid of farmland and getting rid of um, all the different things that um, are, you know, great about having open space. And then the effects on them. So here's the, so the, the cause is how is it happening? The effects is what is it doing to um, our land. Okay. Same with, uh, desertification as well as urbanization. What, do, what, what's happening and then what is it, the effects? Okay. Obviously these things, um, can cause the reason they're happening is because there's a need 
um, for humans to have certain things, but the effects can be affecting the other humans as well as the earth and the, the ecosystem. So you have to think about that. So you go ahead and watch this video. Um, what's all the buzz about? And, um, oh, talking about honeybees and how great they are and how unfortunately their, their population is declining. I actually have some friends who, um, have their own bees. I'm curious if any of you have your own bees. I would love to know. How do humans impact water quality? Well, that's another thing. What are we putting into our into our um, water? What are we putting into the ground that is getting into our groundwater? All of these things affect um, manufacturing companies who are dumping their waste into rivers or lakes. That's, um, oh, they have pesticides that they're putting on our crops to make our, our yummy corn or, or whatever, but it could cause um, uh, pollution to our drinking water. Um, changing the flow of water, that's another thing, building dams, like getting, use it. That's interesting though, because using um, the water, which we need um, to create energy um, could possibly be a problem because we're changing the flow of water, which changes the ecosystem. It's quite an interesting process here. Um, construction, obviously building, um, it is taking away from land. You have uh, shipping. Well, you know, we're, if we're doing transcontinental shipping, um, you can actually pick up invasive species from one place and transport to another. I actually met a scientist up in Superior um, and Duluth, Minnesota, Superior, Wisconsin, who his whole job was to inspect cargo for invasive species and the effects of, of species coming from other countries and dropping into our water, like barnacles or sludge or, or whatever. Um, that, and that causes huge problems. And then recreation, even us going to the beach. Well, hey, we get everybody gets to go to the beach. But the problem is then that that beach and those dunes erode and then that causes problems. And so if you ever look at a place in in uh, Florida where they um, have their hurricanes and then like houses are damaged, not only from the winds, but also from the beach um, eroding and then, you know, it building the building those houses so close to the beach causes a huge problem. So yes, you know, what can you do? No fun, right? But it's all true. We want us to protect our earth. It says, what are the local and uh, uh, global effects of human impact on earth? So what are the global effects? Here's a video. Um, does something that we do here affect something elsewhere? Uh, well, we talked about, well, We've talked about that kind of last semester, but um, I think, you know, understanding that, you know, how we behave in our country definitely does affect other countries in their environments. And then we have, how can humans decrease and reverse negative impacts? So what can we do? So I really liked, well, here's the situation. Here's what's going on. How can we help? And I really do like um, this process. And so there is debate and this is huge debate, um, obviously from, from local governments, um, to classrooms, to the United States government, to the world. Um, this is a huge debate. And when you're having a conversation, um, with people, you want to be respectful of their ideas, but definitely, you know, do you agree or do you disagree? And this, I think takes you on a little, uh, choose your own adventure. So that could be interesting. So then now we're going to think like a scientist and talk like a scientist. So we're going to think by thinking about um, how, what are the renewable and non-renewable energies, our impact, you know, on water, on the earth in general. And then we've got vocabulary such as biomass, deforestation, desertification, um, geothermal energy, if you know what that is. So, and then now we have our lab. This lab kind of reminds me of the boundaries lab that we did last semester. It's kind of involved. So if you look, you're going to have this chart that you're going to fill out again, kind of like our boundaries lab last semester. And then you have some questions. Okay. 
So if you look at the lab, the purpose is to, to understand what deforestation, desert, desertification, and um, urbanization are. So then you'll press next. So you're going to have to fill it. Remember, like before, you're going to have to fill out this chart before you can move ahead. So understanding that you're filling out this chart, but you're also filling out the chart here. Okay, that's something to note. Um, press next. You have to read a little bit about the um, Global Protection a Agency and understanding a little bit about what's going on here. And then you'll learn a little bit about deforestation, desertification, and urbanization. Okay. And then here's, here are some of the problems. We've got CO2 levels in the air. You're going to explain why that's important and why it's bad. Um, er uh, erosion of usable land. That's terrible because if it's usable, we need it, right? And suspending particles in water. Okay, so what if we're, we've got water suspend, have, I'm sorry. If there are particles in our water, like in our rain, like acid rain, that's no good, right? So. Did I do all of those? Why won't it let me? Oh, now it says next. Okay. So now you're going to begin by traveling to the th to three locations around the globe, and you're going to learn about it. Okay. So we've got the Amazon rainforest, the Sahara Desert, and New York City. So if you go to your lab and you look, and we're going to start with New York City. If you click on here on New York City, it talks a little bit about it. You're going to watch, and then you're going to watch... So um, you're going to do some testing about urbanization and then you're going to watch, look at um, 50 years ago and present day and do some comparisons. Okay. And record the data as you go. So you're going to have to click on here and record the data for present, present. I don't know. Let's go back. How do I go back? Oh no, did I mess up? See, do you see? I think it was 85, but I think I'm wrong. So we can click on it again. Oh, Miss Marms didn't get it. But 50 years ago, it was 625 parts per million. Okay. And click on here. 625 parts per million. And then you press go, and then, and then you press next. Sorry, I'm learning how to do this with you. And then you decide to make some future ideas. So what did you do? Did you install some solar panels? Okay, awesome. And then it tells you Installing solar panels decreases water parts per million to 853 and record that information here. And then recommended impact, um, recommendation to decrease impact of the earth. And so you would write something here. Okay. So then when you're done with all three of those, then you're going to go ahead and answer some questions. Okay. And there, those questions do actually say, um, give some recommendations. Um, what are their impacts? Be very specific and creative with your ideas. You are, you can actually use this, um, activity to help you with our um, collaboration activity. So um, if these are some of the topics that you find interesting, um, you can definitely use this to help you with that pro project as well. So that is it. This is somewhat um, time consuming, but I did want to show you that. And also, um, I want you to also know that we have the discussion based assessment. I will be working on a quiz um, that you can practice with before you take your assessment. Um, so, or we can meet one-on-one. -on -one. Either way, I'm totally cool. And we can do that next week if you finish this, whenever you finish this, or the week after. Understand that our, I want to take um, the, the final exam for this probably in two weeks. Okay, that's what my plan is. 
but um, you know, if you end up getting done early and you want to, you certainly can. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks. Bye.